What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet, and please forgive my voice, my tone, I'm uh, a little under the weather right now, I'm fighting a head infection, so it's always something, um, but today uh, marks the death of a pastor by the name of Fred Phelps, um, pastor I use in a very loose terminology, um, if you're unfamiliar with this guy, I bet I can make you familiar with him, if you've ever heard of the West Borough Baptist Church, which call themselves a church, but is really more of a hate group and really more of a, a people who have dedicated their lives to making other people as unhappy as possible. Um, this was the founder of that church, and he died today at the age of 84. And I've seen a lot of reactions to it, and I, a lot of people have said that it's best to not react at all, to not have any, let him have any more impact than he already has. Uh, but I, I, tw I made some tweets today that were a little off color. I made some jokes, and you can go to my Twitter and read them if you want. I'm not going to repeat them here. Uh, but something has been stuck in my head all day that I wanted to talk about, something I wanted to talk about, and I just need to get it off my chest. And that's that at the end of the day, I think that Fred Phelps did more good, <laughs> well, that's a hard thing to say, more good than harm. And I want to explain why. Um, and maybe you can see this too. You know, because I don't want to necessarily celebrate his death. Um, I, I don't want to be that guy. But let me explain. I'm a huge LBGT uh, proponent. I'm all for equal rights, not just for lesbians, bisexuals, gays, trans, transsexuals, but for all people, regardless of color, skin, race, creed, background, mental illness, disability. I don't care. You're you, I'm me, we're equal, that's it. That's all, I don't really care. And uh, that puts us in the same group as, as Red Phelps, too, for the record, who is a horribly flawed individual. Um, and he dedicated himself to hatred and bigotry, and, and picketed the funerals of dead soldiers, and held up signs that said, God hates, you know, and put as much hate and negativity into the world as he could. The backlash to this, though, is fascinating to me. Because I, I, I'm pretty open-minded, and some of my fellow Christians here in the South are not as open-minded. They do believe homosexuality is a sin, and that you know, it's kind of weird when people do this, and it's gross when people do that, and they shouldn't do this because it's a sin. But uh, even me and those people tend to see eye to eye on one thing, that what Fred Phelps was doing was really, really shitty, and that he is really, really wrong, and that even if you disagree with that lifestyle choice or, or the, the, you know, I, I, even to call it a choice is wrong in my opinion, but that's fine. Even if you believe it's a choice and even if you disagree with it, you're still not going to follow in the footsteps of, of Fred Phelps. And not only that, but he helped organize and rally so many people against him. Because whenever there were these um, these uh, Westboro Baptist Church pickets, then the opposite group would picket. They would organize. They would form. They would meet each other. They would create a community. They would love each other. They would support each other. They would care for each other. And even other people in the community who didn't normally, I wouldn't necessarily show up for a pride parade, would not necessarily show up to, to, to someone's coming out party, would show up to this in support of just Fred Phelps and his church. It's a bunch of douchebags. And that's awesome. That's awesome. That there's a silver lining in all of the hate and all of the anger and all of the evil that Fred Phelps put into the world. Is that we rallied against it and, and we can see eye to eye and we can agree on the good, the, on the good, that he is wrong. And now, right now, right now, absolutely, his daughter is taking over and the Westboro Baptist Church will continue on. And they'll continue to hold up their little colorful signs and they'll continue to picket other funerals and they'll just double down and triple down and quadruple down and and do their thing and that's okay that's okay because you and I we're going to continue to rally against them you and I are going to continue to spread a message of love and you and I are going to be so loud with that message that eventually we will drown them out and that's uh, Fred Phelps's legacy thank you sir